Hey guys, this is Snowdrop and today I'll be showing you JTAG Tutorials 2 and today's episode will be about on how to rip games from your own Xbox 360 and this can be retail or JTAG RGH and that's the cool part so uh, if you don't understand what I mean I mean uh, you, uh, if you have a game disc or uh, installed the game you can rip an ISO from that if you didn't know and the cool thing that I use this for mainly is uh, say if I needed a World at War ISO to make a you know ISO disc um, I won't have to go on Pirate Bay or some shit to uh, download a eight hour long download instead I can just do this process in what 15 minutes 20 minutes it saves you time, but you have to have a legitimate copy, in which I mean you have to have a disc or uh, install the game in the first place. In other words, most likely legitimate, un unless you use some other way to grab it. So uh, I'll meet you on my Xbox, and I'll show you from there. All right, thank you. Hey guys, this is Snowdrop. I'm back, and we're now on my Xbox. I don't have an Elgato, so it's not solid screen capture. I'm thinking about getting an Elgato, but I'm not far into YouTube. Uh, recording but if I get more subscribers then I'll have enough uh, confidence to buy an Elgato but uh, let's head to the main dashboard so like I said this is for any Xbox retail flash JTAG RGH it works for any Xbox as long as you have a li actual disc copy um, I'm on my RGH but don't get me wrong this is for retail as well so I'm gonna do a disc um, extraction I'm gonna rip an ISO off my disk so what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to open tray and I am going to grab World at War real quick if I it's right here today's tutorial I'll be using World at War as an example works for any other game though so I'll put that in as you can see World at War alright so it's reading alright so what you're going to do once your game is fully loaded like so you're going to want to click X install and you're going to want to install the game it may show you a prompt on which storage device you want to use uh, I don't think it will if it starts oh yep okay I'll do this 250 gigabyte Hopefully, I think I have enough memory to do it. Alright, yep. This tutorial takes about, I mean, uh, not this tutorial, this download, this install, takes about 10 minutes, so I'll meet you up once the installation is complete. Alright, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Guys, I'm back, and the installation got is done now. Game installation complete, 100%. So uh, before we get to it, let's clarify that the game is installed, which it most likely is, but double checking isn't always bad, might as well. So it should be in here, let's go to, yep, you can see it's installed. Alright, so what you're going to do is just, uh, since it's installed to my hard drive, I'm going to hop over to my slim, pop off the protective plate, pull out my hard drive. Oh, not yet. Let me turn off my console. I don't know why I decided to do that before. Plug it. Alright, so it's right here. And I will use, uh, this is my laptop. And I will use a hard drive connector to connect the two, the hard drive to the PC, but I can't seem to find it. Oh, it's right here. But anyway, guys, um, I'll meet you on my laptop, and we'll go from there. All right. Hey guys, I'm back, and from the last clip, uh, we just installed uh, World at War into our hard drive, and we unplugged our hard drive, and now it's connected to the PC. So now here's the process where we're gonna actually rip the ISO from the installed game we just made from the disk so we're gonna open up Horizon I'm pretty sure it works with Mario as well I'm not sure though but definitely Horizon so let's open this as you can see my hard drives already opened up let's open up the games 
It's going to take a little bit since I have a crap load of games. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. And as you can see, let's find Call of Duty World at War. It's right here. And if you open that tab up, you're going to see Installed Game right here. So you're going to want to right click it, Extract File, and you're going to want to create a, I'll create one called, um, here's a uh, Call of Duty World at War. I'll just call it Call of Duty, I'll just call it COD5 God. I don't want to have a big name. So I'm going to save it in there. And as you can see, it's going to start. It's actually fairly fast in Horizon. As you can see, it's ripping it pretty, pretty fast. And we can see if we go in here, it's building. Yeah, it's building. And <laughs> here are my stuff from the last tutorial I just made. Uh-oh. Alright, so let's let that. I think I can just sit through this. It's not going to take that long. Probably two minutes. Or actually, uh, I'll probably just get back to you guys once the installation is done. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Alright guys, I'll see you guys when uh, the, the ripping of the ISO is done. Later. Alright guys, I'm back. It just got done downloading. Uh, so we're good from that. And now, we can see we have a complete build right here. Right here. Alright, so now we're going to go through the process of actually... Uh, creating an ISO off that God format we just made. So let me open up uh, God to ISO, which I think is right here. Yep. So that's open up. We're going to go to add and you're going to want to add this file. You're not going to want to add these data files. You're going to want to add the main bit file, which is this one that has a lot of numbers. You can't miss it. So we're going to just click open. We're going to select the output directory and we're going to choose, we're going to create a folder called COD5ISO. Okay, it just goofed on me right there. I'll just collect that anyway. It was supposed to say COD5ISO, not COD5I, but you get the idea. So I'll just click that. Um, fix broken header and we'll click go. Alright, well that's loading. I'm going to just let you guys sit through this. It shouldn't take too long. Um, if you guys haven't, check out my site, snowdropservices.webs.com. If you, uh, I sell preloaded hard drives there, preloaded 500 gigabytes, preloaded terabytes, preloaded 2 terabytes. Really cheap. I sell 2 terabytes, 175 preloaded with 30 plus games. And if you want JTAG files on it, I'll throw it on there. Um, And one terabyte to go for I think 120 as far as I remember, and 500 gigabytes go for 85. Free shipping, free to two, uh, two to three day shipping actually. So if you're ever interested, just go on my shop in the description, and you can pick one up. All right, it's about I would say 40 percent, 35 percent done. I hope you guys are interested in this JTAG tutorial series that I started. Uh, if you guys ever want any other questions to be answered, just leave a comment. Trust me, I will read it since I don't have a thousands of, dis uh, of uh, subscribers. So I can keep track of like comments that come in. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. I would. It's just it's real quick and I, I'll start uploading more frequently because I understand... Um, usually unsubscribe to people who upload and then don't upload for a month but I'm trying to upload frequently and hopefully with the series I will upload frequently 
uh, I may start doing unboxings on this channel of games, like stuff re um, regarding games. Um, I uh, hope you guys can push me to reach that good 100 subscri um, subscribers. And then after that, I would like to reach uh, 300, and then after that, 500, and then after 500, I'll reach 1,000. So that's my goal, 100, 300, 500, 1,000, and then we'll go from there. It's almost done. And as said before, this is a great, great, great method for backing up um, games. Because, I mean, you're building an ISO off a game disc or installed game. Because <laughs> a lot of times when you uh, download games off Pirate Bay or something, you have a, you have a little chance of getting a virus. Um, I've never had one, but, I mean... You, there's always that chance and this is just the best way to go to know and understand that you're safe and you're good to go since it's your own copy it's your own build you don't have to download anybody else's build and plus it takes 14 hours to download a ISO off the internet when you can just set one up yourself for what 10 20 minutes it's ridiculous it's such a great method Alright, we're about 70, 80 percent done. <laughs> well, we're about 90 percent done. Ninety three, ninety five. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that, I got a phone call. But, as you can see, it's done. We can close out of GOT ISO. Come over to our folder where we just ripped the ISO to. And, here it is, cut 5 i And, we have an ISO build. You can see it says right there, ISO file, 6.6 uh, 6 gigabytes. And, we can just re rename this to the game it's supposed to be, like, Call of Duty world oh, fuck. at war and from there we can uh, put that on a hard drive to run from X key rip it to a game disk or you open it up in WX360 and modify its contents but anyway guys uh, that's how you make an ISO yourself from DVD extracting or hard drive extracting from installed games uh, this it's, it works for JTAGs and retail consoles, so you don't have to have a modified system to do this. I uh, hope you guys like this, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Yeah!